Hello everyone, this is Madhu from Adiyogi Ayurveda. Thank you for joining me today for another podcast. And I would like to invite you to visit my website and visit my blog. And I'll put the link down there. Um, my Instagram is Adiyogi Ayurveda 8, number 8. Um, and so today I wanted to uh, talk about the common trend in the QHHD sessions. So from of all the QHHD sessions that I have done, especially the one I got done from somebody else also, the, the main theme is at least one of the lifetimes that are shown speaks about, like shows the person a simpler life than the life that they're living today. Because I think most of us struggle with the responsibilities and all these things like dead slavery, um, stress, having to always strive for the better. When one goal is done, you have to work on another goal, bigger house, better car. So all these things are like this never-ending chase after happiness it's like if i get this i'll be happy but then there's always that something else that you need because there is a void or dissatisfaction in your heart and that's because we're not really in contact with our real true selves and real true goals and values and principles Because from our childhood, we are fed with the social norms. What it is like to be normal, just to be a normie. You have to go to school, you have to go to college. And then some people are now going, like a lot of people are going for master's, PhD. Whatever you do, it's never enough, you know. For example, back in the 70s, (laughs) going to high school is good enough you can get a job you can buy a house you can do whatever now at this time even the bachelor's degree is not enough people want master's degrees people want phds and even the phd there's no guarantee that there's going to be a proper job so it's a lot of things you know you you have the phd you don't have experience so it's it's a lot of things that people have to bear and try to strive towards there's that there's that thing that we are constantly reaching up for so these lifetimes in the past are just simple lifetimes where people literally did not do jobs they just go out they wake up in the morning they just go out exploring walking around in nature they probably farm some of them play around Especially, they, they were shown, especially as children, how they were, and they would like dance around, they would go to their favorite place, and there's a lot of nature to enjoy, a lot of that connection to Mother Earth. We are living in planet Earth. Every being who lives in their respective planets have that special relationship with the planet. And building on that relationship was important back in the day but now um you know obviously things have changed now so it's like we're being reminded how important it is for us to go back to that because that connection is what keeps us connected that feeling of connectedness that it gives us that feeling of stability which comes through the root chakra for us to be connected to mother earth we know what's going on we understand it's like we're more aware of our surrounding when we are not aware of our surrounding when we don't have a ground to stand on when we feel like we are not stable that unstability gives rise to chasing after these things things because we think when we chase after these things we're going to feel better 
whereas your true motive may be to live in a beautiful cottage or whatever it's okay to want things because maybe that's what you truly desire from your heart but those if those desires are based on ego or they're not really true to your actual soul's calling and your personality and what you truly strive for it's still not going to bring you that sense of satisfaction that sense of stability so that's the the important thing like they like for example a couple of the people their lifetimes as children they were not really wealthy but they were not unhappy you know they would as a child they would just go exploring out go about dance around play with animals or just play by themselves you know just go to their favorite spot watch the sunrise sunset go to their favorite beach or water place it's it's that it's that thing where you're not busy with a job or anything else like that that takes away from meaningful things they go to they walk around they come back home to eat and they have this warm meal cooking sometimes and usually like the woman in the house come, is cooking and the children come gathers around to eat and the father is the one who goes and you know does the work and bring home the bread and the house to them at that time the house and the surrounding is like a they're content that's the word they use i'm content you know sometimes some people get homeschooling and back in the day it was like you know sometimes they they would not go to school maybe they would get homeschooling but they're happy they're content you know they have people who loves them and there's that bond and sometimes even if they don't have the bond there's still animosity there's that sense of being and one of my personal lifetimes was me i'm in india and i'm just wearing like a like a long skirt and this like a you know that short blouse top that they wear and i'm with along this river bank with other women and we're washing clothes like the the feeling is the most important because every time my clients go to a past lifetime i ask them what the feeling is because most of my work is based on releasing suppressed emotions and really understanding the feelings that are going inside the psyche because the the emotional and the mental issues contribute a lot to your health so in ayurveda it says they say the stomach gi tract is the first to get any signs of disease or imbalance and contributing to that is your mental and emotional nature because if you're not happy your appetite changes you know if you're depressed your appetite changes so you know like your your mental space and your emotional nature has to be kept on check to make sure that you make yourself happy you are happy so going back to that that river bank the emotional state was content and happy like like i'm not striving i wasn't i didn't feel like i was striving for something else but i was just enjoying washing the clothes talking with my friends in the river bank it didn't look like i was very wealthy it looks like it looked like i'm from a village simple lifetime life style just washing clothes in the middle of the day but my thoughts weren't scattered about what i'm going to do next or what i'm going to do tomorrow i'm here washing clothes and talking with my friends and that was something personally that was something like that shocked me because because in this modern lifestyle we're always thinking about the past because we're regretting what happened in the past or something that is keeping us hooked through emotions and we are always worrying about the future you see that that trend like we don't pay attention to now 
because we are fed, we are conditioned to always think about the future, always be two steps ahead, ten steps ahead. But our true human nature is to be present. Slow down. In one of the classes I took, she said, the most important thing is to slow down, connect with Mother Earth, and listen to her heartbeat. Her heartbeat is like a very slow drum. So the pace of this planet is slower than we think. And that's a crazy thought, right? That the planet is alive. The planet has a heartbeat, and it has a vibration, and it has a speed. Yes, look at the indigenous tribes. Like, none of them are required to work so hard. They go and gather their food. They have their shelter. And they have all that they need. There's nothing fancy that they strive for, but they're perfectly healthy, perfectly capable of surviving day to day, perfectly happy, you know, they're happy, they have time, that's the most important, having time. We are chasing after time. We don't have time, so we have to plan like this whole freaking year ahead you know it's 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 crazy to think that we are not able to relax unwind and just think of the moment now so another another lifetime was this person would this that's also another child like he would go playing around he would wake up and he would play around and just, you know, they would eat, come back home, small home. And another person, she was like a teenager or something and she had like, a, she, they were pretty well off. And still there was that, you know, that sense of happiness. There is no pride or ego. It's like if you want a big house, they would make their big house. And that's it. There was abundance, that sense of abundance. Sense of abundance is not like having a huge palace, but feeling like you have everything that you need. Your home feels like a home. There's that level of comfort in your home when you come. There's that level of love. There's that warm food on the table. There's that togetherness. They all gather together to eat for dinner. That togetherness. You know, the most important things, I think, I believe, and what I have learned through QHHD is the human relationship and sense of feeling like it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to want the things that you want. It's okay to be, just be live in the present moment, slow down and just be. Enjoy each and everything that you do. That's being present. And that's really what's lacking in a lot of people's lives because although this is how the society is run, deep down inside, as a human, it's very difficult for us to fathom how drastically different everything is from our true nature and that's an important lesson to learn because literally wherever any, any other planets that I've learned about through Dolores Cannon's work they have everything that they need and none of them are as worried as we are on earth that's that's a key thing you know so yeah that's what I wanted to share with you all I think it's just important to feel peaceful, inner peace, and connected to the, to the planet, to the universe, to God. Find what, that make, what it is that makes you feel grounded, stable, and happy. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Madhu from Adiyogi Ayurveda.